Once again, we come together very sadly. Our hearts have been broken by the tragedy of gun violence. 17 pronounced dead, more wounded, innocent children sending terrified texts and goodbyes to their parents. We thank God for the heroism of the teachers, the school leaders, and our first responders running into harm's way to save lives. I think it's appalling. If I was a, a, a Republican member, I'd be embarrassed that my leadership wouldn't address this issue. 30 people every day are killed by someone using a gun. And the best we can do is say we need more information. Well, as the leader said, I agree. We need all the information that we, that we can get. But what do we do with it? We're going to put it with all the information we got after the last shooting? Or maybe the, all the information we got after the shooting before that? Because there seems to be, it seems to me that you can't turn around without there being a mass shooting. In a few minutes, when this vote closes, we're going to go upstairs and hold a moment of silence for the victims of yesterday's shooting. Uh, we've lowered the flags here in the Capitol to half staff. Our first thoughts are with the families of those who are lost. We know at least five people right now are fighting for their lives, and we need to pray for each one of those people who are fighting for their lives right now. This is one of those moments where we just need to step back and count our blessings. We need to think less about taking sides and fighting each other politically and just pulling together. This House and the whole country stands with the Parkland community.